Hi everyone, Sean here from SMP Designs, and uh, today I'm going to be taking you through how to build and customize the two-piece cowl pattern. So first of all, let's start out with the patterns themselves. Um, well, after you've printed them out, what you want to do is uh, cut them out and be sure that you keep the sketches, the renderings of the patterns, because these are going to show you how like everything fits together. So especially where like the edging goes around the uh, around the outside edges, and then just generally um, how the shapes fit together. So let's start out with putting together the hood. Uh, I like to use a uh, headliner foam, <clears throat> which is uh, like a thin, it's like a 1 8 inch um, gray foam and it comes backed with fabric and it, you can get it in almost any kind of different color you like. Um, usually it comes in gray. It's nice because it's thin, um, it gives you good structure, good padding, but it's not heavy. So the way you start out <clears throat> is lay out your patterns on the headliner foam. And then I just use a Sharpie and trace around the outside of the patterns. Just hold them steady while you're going around them. And it's a pretty simple process. Then what you'll notice is you've got some markings. So you wanna make sure that you transfer the markings onto your foam uh, pieces. And then for the other side, you just flip the piece over and trace it out. and mark out those, those uh, notches. And then you just keep going until you have all the pieces traced. And then start cutting those pieces out. And then once you've got them all cut out, you can kind of lay them out and see sort of basically how everything's going to start to come together. <clears throat> so now that you've got your lining cut out, your padding done, uh, we're going to be building this in like a pebbled sort of faux leather. <clears throat> so what I want to do is lay out that faux leather, and then I'm going to take all of those foam pieces that I just cut out. And what I'm going to do is I want to adhere them to that faux leather. So what I like to use. Uh, and I go through a ton of this stuff, is uh, Super 77 by 3M. Um, it's a great spray mount. Uh, it's not too uh, not too smelly, and, and it's uh, it works really well to adhere things together. Um, I obviously didn't spray that on there just now because it would get all over my table. So you want to have something that's covered uh, when you're spraying your pieces because it, it will kind of overspray. So do it in a covered area. And then just take your pieces one at a time or one set at a time. Give them a good spray on the foam side and then adhere them to the back of the fabric. So what you want is you want the fabric part of the headliner foam to be your lining and then the foam stuck to the back side of the fabric you're using. And then once you've got them all down, just cut them out again. And notice these are kind of going in all different directions. There's not really a grain line to this faux leather. So you don't really have to pay too much attention to that. It's all going to match up when it's put together. So just conserve your materials as best you can. And there's all the pieces cut out and ready to go. So building up this hood, <clears throat> you want to start it from working bottom up, uh, front to back. So what I'm doing right here is I'm putting together the chin pieces. So this is like the front of the neck and then the throat part. So what you want to do is just take your pieces and just kind of mold them together to fit along the curves. Everything is being done with a one half inch seam allowance. And of course, if you want to use like pins or like those little mini clips, certainly you can feel free to do that. But you just want to guide the fabric around. So that's what you've got in your first seam. Now, to take the bulk out of these seams, what I do is I will very carefully kind of uh, separate that faux leather shell material from the inside of the uh, of the foam, um, only on the side that I'm going to be top stitching it upwards, because I don't want that extra uh, foam to be inside there. So that's trimmed out. Now we can go in and just do a really quick edge stitch to make sure that we get a nice solid.
and then go back in. And I know I didn't frame this very well, but go back in and just very carefully trim out all of that excess seam allowance. And there, now you've got a nice seam. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna put the face part on top of the throat. And again, you just wanna line the pieces up using a half inch seam allowance and just mold those pieces so that they all line up. And the object here when you're sewing something like this <clears throat> is to make sure that you do it in an order where you're able to do your seams, uh, the long straight seams as much as possible. So anytime there's an intersection of a seam, you wanna do those first and then do the piece that crosses over it afterwards so that you can do them all at one time and you're not having to turn uh, a bunch of weird corners and things like that. So take a look at your pattern and then figure out what order they need to go in in order to do that. And here we're putting the side back on. And again, just <clears throat> line up your marks, line up your edges, and then mold that fabric as you go along. When you're using something like a two-way stretch faux leather, um, along with this headliner foam, it's pretty malleable, so you're able to get some pretty good molding on it. Um, and it's not gonna be too difficult to, to shape and form around these curves. And speaking of curves, now we're putting the, the, the uh, top of the head on. And this is probably gonna be the biggest curve you deal with is right across the top of the head. But again, just take your time, line up your curves, and then mold your fabric. Again, pins or little tiny clips here can work really well to help you keep everything together. Me, I just like, like to mold it with my hands. But find out whatever works best for you. And then again, each time we're doing one of these seams, we're deciding which way it's gonna get top stitched. And then inside, we're taking out that headliner foam excess bulk and then giving it an head stitch. And after we finish trimming everything out, you can see we have one half of the hood all together. So the other half of the hood is done exactly the same way. And I like to get one half done and then the other half. So at this point, what we're doing is we're sewing the top of the head together to where the zipper is gonna go in the back. So you just wanna measure your zipper, how far up it comes, mark it, and then sew the top of the head from there. Now the way I like to put these zippers in is I typically do them so that they're exposed zippers, which is fine for this kind of project. And what I'll do is I'll start with the top edge towards the top of the head, which is where the bottom stop of the zipper is going to be so that I can make sure that it's all lined up exactly where I want it. And then using a zipper foot, which is a foot that um, only has one side, so the needle can get right up against those teeth, I lay the zipper down and I just make sure that I'm keeping that half inch seam allowance from where the needle is hitting is half inch from the edge and I just stitch it all the way down that one side. And if you want to baste the zipper in first and then do your final stitching after, that's fine. And then what I'll do is match up the bottom edge and doing the same thing. You go up the other side and do this with the zipper zipped. That way it's just like sewing a seam. And just make sure that you get everything nice and aligned, that you're working that curve in there and that you're keeping that half inch seam allowance. And then when you get back up to that top part, you should be good. Now, if your zipper is a little bit too long, that's not a problem. What you'll wanna do is use the top stop, that part at the top of the head, and then let the rest of the zipper hang over at the bottom a little bit, because once you edge, the once you finish off the final edge, 
you can just trim off the excess zipper from the bottom and it'll be fine because the binding that you use will stop the zipper at the bottom and keep the foot from coming off. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going up <clears throat> the back of the seam to give it a nice edge stitch there and there's your zipper. Next we're going to sew up the front. It's always easier to put that zipper in the back if you can lay it flat. So wait to sew up the center front until after you've got your zipper in. And then the center front is going to be exactly the same way. We're just going to match up the edges and then you're going to have some seam lines that you want to match up. So just make sure you go slow. Get those seams to line up right the way they're supposed to be. If they're not exactly right, you can always finagle it a little bit just by molding the fabric and then just follow your line around. And again, I'm going to give it an edge stitch on both sides of the seam because I like for things to be symmetrical. So center back and center front, I do a small edge stitch on both sides. And there's your center front that goes underneath the chin. Now what we have to do is finish off the edges across the bottom and around the face hole. So what I'm using is a, is a thin kind of two-way stretch faux leather. <clears throat> I like this stuff a lot because it, uh, it has a very nice finish, it has a good sheen, um, and it works really well to go around curves. So what I'm doing is I'm just laying it down, face down on the top side of my raw edge of my hood and I'm just giving it a quarter of an inch stitch all the way around then you just fold it under and what we call stitch in the ditch which means you stitch right up against where the fabric folds without going on top of it so now we're gonna do the helmet which is the top part of the head so for this one you're gonna notice that the pieces are supposed to be cut on the fold, which means that you're gonna line up that center edge and you're gonna flip it over um, and cut it as one solid piece instead of two. So what you'll do here is you'll notice that you've got uh, where your fold is from the bottom to that mark at the top. And then again, you just wanna lay it down on your headliner and trace it out. Now at this piece, when you're tracing it out, you're going to stop at that point on the front, transfer your markings over, and then mark where that is going to meet when you flip it over. And then turn the pattern piece over, line up those markings, and trace out the other side. Don't forget to transfer your marks to the other side. You can't really see it here, but this paper's thin enough that I can actually see them through the paper, but you can always just trace them over to the other side if you need to. Now, since this is gonna be sewn at the top and it's gonna stop at a certain point on the forehead, you wanna make a mark where that's going. So that's gonna be where that dart's gonna end to sew up the top of the head. And then transfer all of your marks to the inside of your pattern piece because when you cut it out, they'll disappear. And then we're gonna do the other piece of the helmet, which is the sides and front, exactly the same way. Just gonna lay it down, trace around it, and then transfer over our marks. And like last time, we're gonna mount that onto our black faux leather and cut it all out, and then we're gonna get started. So the first thing we're going to do in sewing this helmet piece together is we're going to do the temples right over the eyes. And we're not going to stitch it all the way around the back. We're actually just going to do it maybe around about to the second notch, so about four to five inches, just to get it started. 
and then do the other side. And the reason why we're only sewing it to a certain point here is because we want to be able to edge off the eye holes before the whole thing is sewn together because it just makes it a lot easier. The flatter you can get it, the easier it is to do those eye holes and to do those curves. So you just want to give yourself, you just want to sew it up enough to get that closed. And then you can see that you've got your eye holes are ready to go and you don't sew up the nose yet. So this is probably the most fiddly bit of this piece is doing these eye holes. But if you just practice at it, it's not too tough. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to it. And what you can see is I've gone ahead and, and done the edging around the outside of it. And then I've done some clips so that the uh, black faux leather can stretch around the, the more um, uh, tricky curves. And then you're just gonna fold it under. And I know my fingers are a little bit in the way, but you're just gonna fold it under and then very carefully sew that under all the way around. And this gets easier the more times you do it. You'll kind of find your rhythm and you'll figure out the best way to approach it. What you could always do is just take some of your scraps of material, cut some circles in a scrap of material and a couple of little strips of your you know, black faux leather or whatever you're using to edge with, be it bias tape or whatnot, and just practice a few times until you kind of figure out how it works best for you. But yeah, you're just gonna carefully work that, work that edging all the way around those eye holes. and then trim out the inside, being very careful not to cut through your stitching. And just trim it up as closely and cleanly as you can. I like to use my little snips because they're easy to control. Then you're gonna sew up the nose. <clears throat> so same thing, you've got a half inch seam allowance here. So just line up your edges. And again, if it's not exact, you can mold it a little bit. It's fine. The really important thing is to make sure that the edges match up. And then trim that off. And then when you fold it out, there you go. Your eye holes are done and your nose is connected. Now I like to put a little bit of a top stitch towards the top to kind of give it that little bit of an eyebrow kind of feel and then trim that out. And then you're gonna do the bottom edge the same way. Well, you're gonna do the bottom edge after you finish sewing up the, uh, the sides to the head. So you'll do the, you'll finish sewing up the sides of the head, then um, do the bottom edge, and then you're gonna sew up the center back. And again, just matching up your notches. And then what you wanna do is make sure that you've got that dot where you're gonna end that dart is right on your fold, is exactly on your fold so that it's perfectly in the center and then just continue along and take a nice gentle curve. Just follow the curve around to that dot and go right up to the edge of it. And there you go. We have put together our two-piece cowl. So you can see that if you need to adjust the size on this at all, the places to do it are in the center back of the top, the helmet part, or on the sides and in the center back of the hood. So I would suggest, you know, you make a mock-up or you try it on, you know, as you're going through it and see how it fits. And if you need to make any adjustments, you certainly can. But the foam is gonna give it a good structure and it's gonna hold up really well. off of trusty Ed and then I'll show you a variant version that I've been working on. So here's a variant version, a customized version for a Captain Britain project that I'm working on and it's using the same patterns, exactly the same patterns, I'm just using different fabrics and I've created some color blocking on the top of the helmet. 
All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, for more information, other walkthroughs, and to uh, visit my Etsy shop, visit smpdesigns.com.